Hi, John and I are here at the gym. John is and has been recording trainers doing different examples of body weight only exercises for our, our Action Health platform. And in this building, there is construction going next door. <laughs> so when you hear the, the sound of saws all, that's what's happening. Anyway, so um, John's been recording and all of these exercises are going to go on our Action Health platform. Super excited. So what's happening is United Way is trying to lessen the amount of suicides in Southern Maine. And so we're collaborating with the United Way of Southern Maine to educate the Southern Maine community about what is adverse childhood experiences. So people will think everybody has an adverse childhood experience, like my dad used to spank me, but I was bad, or I got grounded, or, you know, kids need to toughen up these days, and blah, blah, blah. We're not talking about um, that. We're talking about, you know, sexual abuse, beatings, um, neglect, not having enough food to eat, mentally ill people in the family who are, who are, you know, harming each other. That's what we're talking about when we talk about adverse childhood experiences. And what we know is the effect of that neglect and trauma on children, it, um, it messes up their their growth, you know, their development. So as their bodies are growing from little kids into into adults, lots of stuff is is happening besides just getting taller, right? Um, their ability to um, to be resistant to disease, their ability to tolerate medication, their mental health, like so many things are a part of that, and all of that is disrupted. And there is long-term mental and physical, and I would say spiritual, um, ramifications from that abuse and neglect long-term. That has been studied and proven. It's just it just what it is. So how can we prevent it? Well, we can educate people so they understand it. So we will be doing that. But I want, and, and education is super important and vital. Like, I think it is just essential. Like, people need to know. And just the understanding of adverse childhood experiences can be a, a life-changing experience in and of itself. But since I have, you know, 40 years of um, surviving the surviving, I call it, of dealing with the aftermath of 20 years of, of abuse, I have a unique perspective that I, I think, I believe, can be really helpful. And a part of just understanding, in addition to that, we wanted to be able to offer um, this Action Health platform to be able to offer our community, free of charge as always, the ingredients for the recipe for um, feeling better, like decreasing the level of severity of suffering. We already know that a holistic way of life, a healthier lifestyle significantly impacts mental health. So what I can't do is I can't bring in more psychiatrists in Maine. I can't bring in more therapists in Maine. I can't bring in more resources in Maine. But what I can do is I can share my experience, strength, and hope. I can share the ingredients to the recipe that I have learned through my lived experience of 40 years after the abuse on what it takes to be in my own skin, to be healthy and happy. And science has caught up with me and has proven Harvard, Mayo Clinic, like WebMD, look it up. I mean, it's, um, it is a significant contribution to mental health and well-being to utilize what you eat, what you drink, what you think, mindfulness, exercise, nutrition, breathing, 
all of these um, these components, all of these ingredients, create a recipe for the healthiest uh, version of yourself that you can be. Now, not a doctor, not a PhD. I did not graduate high school, and I did not sleep at a Holiday Inn last night. So this is not supposed to take the place of, you know, your mental health professional, or you seeing your doctor, or telling you to stop taking meds, or anything like that. This is just an additional piece that we wanted to be able to add um, to help our community. So, and we're so excited about being able to do this. So we're going to be utilizing my trainer, Chris Privish, and Chris's team at John's been, we've got a green screen right here. <laughs> and and some of the trainers have, have volunteered their time to put up various exercises. And so um, it's body weight only. So people are going to get on this um uh, this web-based program, they're going to fill out some information. Uh, we don't share the information with anybody. We're not telling your wife or husband or your parents. We're not, you know, we're just wanting to know where you're at physically. So we give you the right exercises. If you've got a bad shoulder or a bum knee or you've been inactive for a long time, we want to put the right exercises. Then with one click, you can make those exercises harder or easier. We want to find out where you're at depression level. So we can um, show you what are the resources that are available available here and some things that you can do. We're going to have you connected with some um, resources like breath work and meditation and nutrition. So it's it's just the start of, of something that I think can bloom into something pretty significant for our community. And we're just getting started. So we appreciate all those who are willing to be a part of our pilot program. The official rollout is in July, so between now and then, hopefully within the next 30 days, we'll have the pilot ready, and we're looking for people who would be willing to be a part of that. Jump on here, let us know what you think, what could be better, what needs to be different, what needs to go bye-bye, and, and we would really, all ages, just really, well, you know, maybe 15 up. We'd really love to have your input, but that's what we're doing and what we're up to, and we're excited to be able to offer this and love it when you collaborate with us. So looking forward to hearing from you, and thanks for listening.